one of those early spring days where the sun was out and the snow was beginning to melt after a very long winter. Rabbit looked out of her home and it was a perfect day for running and a perfect day for jumping and that's what Rabbit loved to do best of all. And while she was out, she saw her friend Turtle. Hey, good morning, Turtle. Hello, Rabbit. How are you? Oh, Turtle, it's a beautiful day. Why, watch me. I've been out running swift as the wind. I bet you wish you could run fast, but your legs are rather short. And watch me, Turtle. I can jump ever so high. I bet you wish you could jump high, but your shell must be heavy to carry around all day. Watch me swift as the wind. Rabbit, I think we should have a race. Turtle, didn't you see me? I can run swift as a wind. If we had a race, I would win. Watch me, swift as the wind. Wait a minute, Rabbit. I have a good idea. How about this? You could run on the land, because you see, I'm a good swimmer, and if I could swim, I might have a chance to win a race with you. But Turtle, the pond has ice on it. I wouldn't know whether you were swimming or not, and I've got too much running and jumping to do to wait till summertime for a race. Watch me, swift as the wind. Wait, Rabbit, come back here. <sighs> Uh, if if I could swim under the ice, then you could run on the land, but I could put some holes all along the edge of the pond, and that way you would know where I am in the race, because I'll stick my head up so you can see me. Well, that's a great idea. Do you want to do it tomorrow? Meet me here by the pond first thing in the morning. Rabbit got up. That very next morning, after a good night's sleep, ate a nutritious breakfast, did her rabbit exercises, and then got ready. Went all the way around the pond to see if the holes were in place. Good morning, Turtle. Hey there, Rabbit. Are you ready for our race? I'm going to win. <laughs> we'll see. On your mark. Get set. Go! go! When they started the race at the very first hole, Yo! Rabbit was way ahead. Thought I can take my time. Hey there, Second Rabbit. Second hole, Turtle was catching up, so Rabbit thought she better Hello, run as fast as she could. Rabbit. Until all of a sudden. Hey, Rabbit. <laughs> I got here first. <laughs> Turtle. What? You were right. You're a very fast swimmer. Yeah. And I'm a really tired rabbit. Oh, poor rabbit. <laughs> I'm going to go home and have a nap. Well, now there's a fine idea. Turtle. Yeah. Congratulations about winning the race. Thanks. See you later. As soon as Rabbit was out of sight, Turtle said, Okay, cousins, you can come out now. And from every hole in the ice, a little turtle popped its head up, looking a lot like the first turtle. See, Turtle had a lot of help tricking Rabbit that day, but perhaps it was a good thing, for after that, the Rabbit didn't brag nearly as much. And that's the story called Rabbit and Turtle's Race.